What's going on guys, Sunny K here and today I'm back with another video but this video is not going to be CSGO so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do my first keyboard review and I just got this keyboard a few days ago it is the Logitech G213 Prodigy uh, so basically this is the software that you could download with it but I'm going to be telling you all about this keyboard so if we come here to the price right now it's on sale for $49.99 uh, but the regular pr price is 70 bucks it's four starred um, people th this is the mouse that I've got right now and this is a headset but as you can see it's not bad there are like little buttons on the top right that you can adjust your sound with or if you're watching something you can skip forward or pause it your different angles uh... the side there are little there are little boosters or whatever they're called that you could boost up the keyboard with and the back of the keyboard looks kind of nice in my opinion with the stripes but let's see let's go back to the software so if you have anything logitech that's con connected to your computer then it this software automatically detects it so as you can see it detects my headset which i can there come then come here and adjust the volume for the micro uh headset or my microphone or the bass or the treble then I can come here and change everything around but I'm not gonna do that I'm just leaving everything as it is so then I can come to m I can also come to my mouse and my mouse has programmable keys on the side over here so these two buttons do the DPI up and down uh, these are already set I set them so and I can also change the DPI over here let's say I wanted to do this and I could assign it as my default and you see that's really fast or I can come over here and assign this as my default and it's like really slow I'm moving my mouse a whole bunch anyway so I like to do it on this R. I like to do it on the third one yeah that's what I use in CSGO anyways so then I'm gonna then I could uh, come to my keyboard and there are two buttons at the top over here and this button right here does all the lighting for my keyboard I can either choose colors and set them in different places and as you can see my keyboards changing colors so let's say I want to do red in the middle three it changes the middle three red it might be a little bit orange but that's just my camera so I can do like blue red yellow any color for this lighting mode over here freestyle it says group keys together into color zones or uh, I could come over here and I could do effects on my keyboard like I could do a fixed color so I could pick a certain color that I want and I could just put it on and it just changes my keyboard into that color or I could do a breathing effect so it's like breathing like so it's doing a breathing effect and you can change the color for that too if you want and you can make it slower and faster I would definitely not recommend to do to the very least the slowest because as you can see over here it's not that good this this is kind of good because in my opinion because I it's it's like blinking like a headlight but what I I could you could also do color wave like it does every single color and if I were to do the color wave I would make it like medium like this because then if it were like this it would just like hurt my eyes a lot so I'm gonna but what I do is I do the color wave and 
I really like this color wave because it's like from left to right and it's just makes my just makes me feel good. Alright, so then I can come here and do right to left. I can make it go right to left. Or I can do center out. So it goes like like this way. I could do also outside in, so it goes from here to the from the corners into the middle. But I usually like to do left to right and leave it like this. So there you can also go to the home. And as you can see the F one, two, three through twelve are blinking, which means I could do something with them. So I if I come here with to this button with a G on it, then I could pr wait, what is this? I don't want this. Okay. So I could program these keys. So like F1, I can come here and do assign new command. And I can do anything from here, like mouse function. I can make F1 left click, which I'm not going to do because that's really dumb. But I can make it stop, pause, anything like that. But right now I'm just leaving it as it is because I don't really use those. All right, so, so then, then if you, you go, go to, to we've, we've already done, done this lighting, lighting setup. setup. So if, if you, you go, go to um this one with the arrow, it just shows every, every single key. key. And then if you do this tip, click, click on a key you want to disable when game, game mode key is on. Oh, oh so, so this is basically the game, game mode key. The game mode key is this key right, right here. So I'm gonna click, click it, and this little light over here comes on right here. Um, I get to choose to disable a button. Alright, I'm. I don't want to disable, disable any buttons, buttons so I'm not gonna do it right now. But you can basically just see if I try adding another one. Yeah. All right. I don't want a new profile. So basically, this is just for disabling a button or something like that. So if we come here to this one, it says you can assign blah blah blah. Do not show this tip again. So basically, you just press start. And let's say I'm typing, right? I'm typing, 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 playing, type, type, type. It records which keys I am typing. And then let's say I want to stop it. Let's do it 20 seconds. All right? It says that these over here are the most used keys that I've been using. So it says shows. Over here it says I use the red the most, which is N, and it says that 9, so which is green, I used green the least, so I used S and J the least. But when I'm playing, I'm usually going to use WASD the most, because those are the main functions of the thing, and so basically those would be like really red, but... I don't really think I need to use this. So, I think that concludes it for my review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you could go ahead and buy this. I really like it. I think it's really, it's comfortable for my hand. This rest part over here on the bottom. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. And I think I'll just be doing a review on every keyboard or mouse or headset that I get. So, peace.